All I can say is take away their titles. It's over. It's done. It's through. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Leilani of Barbados. I have a lot I want to discuss with you today, so let's start out with what happened most recently. Prince William and Kate Middleton were booed at a Boston Celtics game and met with chants of USA, hours after his godmother quit the palace over racially charged remarks. If you see an orange, do you call it an apple and then everyone just goes with apple after that? No, these remarks are not racially charged and this article in Newsweek, which we know Newsweek favors Meghan Markle, does give the dialogue of Fulani and her encounter with Lady Hussey. So when you read this, you see that all she's asking her is, where are you from? So apparently you can't ask people where they're from anymore because that means you're racist. All the nations in the world, all the international competitions that take place on a yearly basis, like FIFA going on right now, you can't ask what team is from where because <laughs> you're racist. Oh, no. What have Kate Milton and Prince William ever done to anybody there's nothing wrong with them except that Meghan Markle's insanely jealous of Kate Middleton I think we now as a community that cares about the royal family we need to start to take sides Meghan's sugars Fulani being a perfect example of them are a bunch of confused narcissistic sociopathic in that they enjoy causing harm to others and very low emotional intelligence very low intelligence in general and that includes emotional intelligence street smarts self-awareness and yeah education they, they, these are that is her side they believe Meghan Markle anything she says even if it doesn't make any sense it makes no sense she has no evidence of anything so she's a snake oil salesman and they fall for snake oil salesmen that's their level. You have our level, which believes in integrity, tradition, respect, having self-awareness, thinking of others and the greater good of a nation, which a monarchy has been proven to unite the United Kingdom in such a way that nothing else does. Having listened to all the podcasts and done videos on them, I think I know Megan pretty well now, as much as there is to know, because she's not made of much. Let's, let's get real. At least she's not made of much that you want to look at. <laughs> let's put it that way. Let's look at this trailer together. Why did you want to make this documentary? Why did you want to make this documentary? No one's okay. I can already tell you that I recommend you watch this documentary trailer on mute. They need to stop certain people from making documentaries because you put a sad piano behind it. You jump the scenes on the beat of the piano so that you feel emotional attachment to what you're watching. Again, all the Megan Sugars will fall for this vial of snake oil. Sees what's happening behind closed doors. I had to do everything I could to protect my family. Protect your family from what? Mm. When the stakes were this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? Wait, but hold on a minute. What story? What stakes? There are no stakes involved. What is she talking about? She really finds herself to be the most important person in the whole entire world. All you did was get engaged, get married to somebody who lived in the UK. You lived there for a couple of months and then you decided to move to your country. I don't I don't see what the problem is. You know, you quit your job, you moved country. Like, I don't get it. Like, what's so big a deal? The, the only thing that makes it a big deal is when you got on Oprah and decided to tell a bunch of lies. Otherwise, people are going to leave you to hell alone in America. She did absolutely nothing there. To be scrutinized. She didn't even do any work. And I want to look at this. Well, let me finish the trailer first. Oh, that's it. That's the end. <laughs> okay. Coming soon. Okay. You see, no one knows what's happening behind closed doors. A stern looking picture of Kate. <sighs> I don't understand how this happened. How does Meghan Markle have this power? By cheating by using race card. Oh, I wanted to show you this thing. So she does this interview when she first joins the royal family. Do you remember this interview where Catherine's heavily pregnant and she's speaking so eloquently and so intelligently and Meghan Markle is so uncomfortable. 
suppose I'd learnt through sort of meeting some of my patronages um, that, that there, there was sort of all these underlying causes across so many different sectors. Um, mental health just kept on flagging up. Mental health just kept on flagging up. William and Catherine started the mental health thing. <laughs> I actually thought it was, but, um, but it was something that I think all three of us at the time felt that we really could make a form. Oh, no. You see? <laughs> She didn't like that one. That's where Catherine says, all three of us at the time, winning Catherine, William, and Harry. Megan's not included. Don't exclude Megan! No. Together on, rather than just one of us acting alone on it. It would be interesting to find... Her face literally drops. Like her smile just goes... Three of us at the time, and then Megan's like... Find out, first of all, your impressions of the Royal Foundation so far and what you're hoping to do. <laughs> Don't be too critical. Yeah, no, of course. Um, well, obviously, it's incredibly exciting. And yes, I think for me, it's been a very long time working on cause driven work, specifically with women and girls' rights. But, you know, to see the model of the foundation is really interesting because. While I've worked with larger NGOs, or I've also worked with really small grassroots organizations where you can see a higher level of impact, in my opinion, because there's a lot less red tape. And it was a higher level impact, what she did, than what you're seeing here. Is she for real? So she thinks her one D-rate celebrity has made a higher level of impact in charity than the royal family? Obviously, when it was happening. Um was the power of convening I mean, all of these small Har organizations <laughs> who have the same issue but need look at Harry's face support it is in this display. moment that he said a bitch is crazy <laughs> umbrella you're able to achieve that and the impact they all made with heads together was tremendous so I'm very excited to be able to work on initiatives similarly and that can have that same sort of impact globally so then Harry speaks about heads together he's explaining it it was a it's an amazing convening mm -hmm. power but also the perception of, of, of mental health now across this country. And then William says it would be wonderful if we could do another project, another campaign. It'd be wonderful if we could do another project or another campaign, um, uh, you know, similar, similar impact heads together or, you know, as, a, as a unit, as a family. Opening up for Megan to choose any charity, anything she wants to do. They are opening their arms to include her in their work because this is what they do, public service. As a, as a unit, as a family. So after he speaks about that, they ask her, like, what do you want to do? Um, yes, I mean, I think that knowing that I've, I've just been here for three months, right? And in that You've amount of time, for, oh, but with that said... Right? <laughs> oh, Lord, I don't have anything in mind. I don't care about anybody except myself. <laughs> for me, it's very important to, once you hit the ground running, even if you're doing it quietly behind the scenes, which is what I've focused my energy on thus far, is meeting with the right people, meeting with the right organizations behind the scenes quietly. Although she's only been here three months, she's doing everything behind the scenes. What a liar. What a weasley little liar. First, I had an excuse that I haven't done anything because I've only been here this amount of time. But let me just lie and say I have anyway. And not say what she's done quietly behind the scenes. <laughs> You'll often hear people say, well, you're helping women find their voices. And I fundamentally disagree with that because women don't need to find a voice. They have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it. And people need to be encouraged to listen. And I think right now in the climate that we're seeing with so many campaigns, I mean, with Me Too and Time's Up, there is no better time than to really continue. She's talking so much crap. Okay, she just switches now, completely segues into the women and their voices and the discrepancy between finding a voice and having a voice but feeling empowered to use it, which is exactly the same thing. But scary. This is a real used car salesman, snake oil salesman. I mean, she is good at lying. <laughs> you to shine a light on women feeling empowered and people really helping to support them, men included in that. I mean, it, it makes such a tremendous difference. So, um, yeah, just um, I guess we wait a couple months and then we can hit the ground running. But up until then, I, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> and then after saying all of this, that she's lying to say that she's doing stuff, she still says, well, I can't wait to hit the ground running. So back to you haven't done anything yet. You haven't hit the ground yet, right? Then we can hit the ground running. But up until then, I, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting to go through this. I've always wanted to go through this interview 
and talk to you guys about it i don't even know what i want to say all i can say is take away their titles it's over it's done it's through and without the titles there is less of a connection to the royal family at least because they are not representing the royal family you can this interview proves that she never ever intended to do any work or represent the royal family um and she only cared about herself so this was a very telling interview a lot of her negative qualities were overlooked at this time Anyway, I will be watching the Netflix documentary. If I could get through the podcast, I can get through the documentary. Wish me luck. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. See you in the next one. Bye. Uh, Anyway, peace and love, peace and love.